Carrying on with our discussion about having a choice between two opposing thoughts, let me give you a really good quick example. Evolution and creation are two entirely different things. Anybody who stopped to study it will find that they are indeed mutually exclusive. Yet if you were to take a survey of people, Christian and non-Christian alike, where do most people sit? Right smack in the middle. 85% of people are what we call theistic evolutionists. They believe in God, and yes, God did create with power. But evolution is how everything came to be. Well, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense because people are trying to mix or to blend two entirely different things, with both sides claiming that they hold the keys to the truth. And so, every time you watch television, every time you read a book, every time you look at a textbook or whatever, every time you look at an, an animal or a plant, you're going to look at evolution, correct? Then you read the Bible and it tells you something altogether different. You want to believe all the stuff that you're hearing and reading, and you want to believe everything that's in the Bible. So what do you do? You put them together. But what are you? You're actually mixed up. Because they're two separate things altogether. You can't put them in the same box. That is what I really, really appreciate about the whole idea of having what we call a dichotomous view of life. That's what the Bible shows us. We're either righteous or unrighteous, we're right or we're wrong, we're heaven bound or we're hell bound. It's really simple. So it helps us to understand a simplified viewpoint where self-righteousness is not based on God, but on me. And whatever I have determined is right and wrong. This is where we come from. That is, we believe in Scripture, where we find that there are really only two choices, the right one and the wrong one. And that's how we want to raise our children also. And yet, we often fail to make our choices based on right and wrong. We usually prefer to do it our way, not necessarily the right way. Have you stopped to think about that? In a way, we are sort of hypocrites. We tell our children there's only two choices, and yet we demonstrate our belief that there's a multitude of choices and that there's all kinds of possibilities. The reason we do that, I think, is twofold. First, we tend to think that we are the center of the universe, and so what we want is what we do. It is also possible that we make bad decisions because we just don't know the truth. Perhaps, ultimately, it's not that important to us. The majority of people are theistic evolutionists, not because they are great believers in evolution, not even because they are great believers in creation. It's because, if you were to ask him to explain the creation story, they couldn't explain it to you. They know it's in Genesis somewhere, probably the first few chapters. They don't, maybe they're not sure. They haven't really gone there and studied it. And they haven't read a multitude of books or seen the videos that are out there to help us understand the creation story. They really haven't looked in evolution either. I catch a lot of people that believe in evolution or creation by simply asking them how or why. Ask them a question. Ask them if they believe in millions of years. And if the answer is yes, you can continue by asking them why. Like evolution versus creation, life is also black or white. The only true believers in grays are either misinformed or do not want to be informed. They like their grays because they move the boundaries to suit them. No commitment needed. Just whatever is most convenient and least demanding. Unfortunately, this is just not true. We need to pick a side. 